Hey you guys, in our last video we solved addition word problems. Today we're going to be working on a subtraction word problem. So the first thing I do when I have a word problem is I read it. There were six dogs in the park. Four dogs ran away. How many dogs were left in the park? Now I need to read it again and I need to mark it up. There were six dogs in the park. Four dogs ran away. I'm gonna underline the action that they did. They ran away. How many dogs were left in the park? Hmm. Now I'm gonna draw a picture. I'm gonna first draw the six dogs that were in the park. One, two, three, four, five, six dogs. Now it says four of the dogs ran away. If they ran away, that means they're not there anymore. They're no longer in the park. So I'm going to cross out four of the dogs. One, two, three, four. Now I have to count how many dogs are still left in the park. One, two. So we know that there's two dogs left in the park. Let's fill in our number bond. What's the biggest number we have so far? Six, four, or two? Six is the biggest number that we have so far. So six is our whole number. Our whole number is six. We also have four and two. Four and two make six. Next, I need to draw this problem in my tin frame. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to cross out four of them. That's how I know there's only two left. Now my equation is in a subtraction equation. So I know that I'm going to have whole minus part equals another part. My whole number I know from my number bond is six. Six minus how many dogs ran away? Six dogs, four dogs ran away. Six minus four equals two. There were two dogs left in the park. Alrighty, my friends, now you can go ahead and complete the two problems that are on Dojo. If you need to look back at this video to see how to do it, you can watch this video as many times as you need to.